Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use inference rules to prove a statement given the knowledge basis in artificial intelligence. In the previous video, I have discussed different inference rules in artificial intelligence. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given two knowledge bases. This is the first knowledge base and this is the second one. Given these knowledge bases, we need to prove this statement. Now, to prove this statement, uh, we need to get uh, C here. To get C, uh, what we need to do is we need to use these knowledge bases and then we need to apply the inference rules here. So, what I will do in this case is uh, I will consider the first uh, uh, knowledge base and then I will eliminate this uh, and here. So, if I eliminate this and, we will get A or B implies C here. So, what I did, I have considered the first knowledge base and then I have eliminated this uh, and in this case. Now, what I will do is, uh, if I want to get this C out of this statement, uh, I have to use modus ponens rules. But to apply the modus ponens rules, what is required? We need to have something like this. Alpha implies beta and then alpha here, you will get beta. So, in this case, uh, what we need to do here? We need to get A or B here. To get A or B, what I will do is, I will consider the second knowledge base. And then what I will do is I will apply again a rule called as and elimination. I will get A here. Now I got A. What is required for us? We need B also. So what I will do is I will uh, use a rule called as or introduction. That is nothing but if alpha is present here, then what we can do here is alpha or anything you can write. It may be beta, it may be gamma or whatever it may be. So with the same note, what I will do here is I will write A as it is or B in this case because A is already true irrespective of B the entire statement is true here. Now if you look at this fourth statement and the first statement what we can do is we can apply the modus uh, ponens rule here. So what you will get the second one that is the C you will get so that is what I have written in this case. So I have applied modus ponens rule on 1 and 4 I got C here. So, that is what is required in the conclusion. So, we got that C here. Now, another thing what is required is B or D is required. To get this uh, B or D, uh, we can easily get this uh, D out of uh, this statement. Uh, A and D is there. So, I will get D here. There is no question about it. But uh, if you want to get this uh, uh, B, what I will do is I will take this uh, uh, B or negation of D from the first knowledge base by removing or eliminating this and here it will look something like this so from knowledge base one i have eliminated this and i got this b or negation of d here now uh, from second one i will again eliminate and here and then i will get d in this case now if you look at this six and seven they look something like this alpha or negation of beta and then beta so this is how they look like if something like this is there with the help of unit resolution, we will get alpha here. The meaning of this one is, in this case, if I apply unit resolution on 6 and 7, I will get B here. Now, we got uh, B in 8th statement, D in 7th uh, statement. What I will do is, between these two, I will introduce or here, they will look something like this, B or D in this case. Now, we have B or D and then we have C here. If I introduce and between these two, that is between 9 and 5, I will get B or D and C in this case. And that is what is required in the conclusion over here. This is not the only process uh, with which you will get this conclusion. You can use the different rules or different process uh, to get this uh, conclusion also. So, in this case, I have shown one process with which you will be able to get this uh, conclusion from the given set of knowledge bases by applying the inference rules in this case. So, in this video, I have discussed how can we apply inference rules on the given knowledge basis to prove the given conclusion. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.